Hey guys, Crypto Dad, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to move your Bitcoins between your Coinbase account and the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. So let's get going. So a lot of people are being uh, taken in by the Bitcoin fever. Uh, a lot of people are uh, opening up Coinbase accounts so that they can get in uh, on this Bitcoin phenomenon. So what I'd like to do today is kind of do a quick short video on how you would move your Bitcoin from a Coinbase account into uh, the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. So let's get going. So uh, I'm looking at the Coinbase website and uh, you may have opened Coinbase uh, in your browser, which is fine. You can do almost everything you need to do in uh, the Coinbase browser version. Uh, or you opened it up on your phone uh, and you can uh, use Coinbase from your phone uh, with the Coinbase app as well. It's just as easy. And uh, I'd like to point out a couple little things uh, before we get too far. If you have opened a, a Coinbase account and bought some cryptocurrency, uh, you should be able to go over to accounts here and it would show you uh, how much Bitcoin you have. And over here uh, is a list of transactions. You can see that... Uh, you know, I've uh, been buying and selling some Bitcoin. The one thing I'd like to point out here is, is uh, you'll notice that uh, all of the uh, transactions begin and end. Okay, I buy Bitcoin and then I move it out. And that's really what you should use a Coinbase account for. It's not really for long-term storage or everyday use. Okay, uh, you'll want to use a, a, a Bitcoin wallet for that. And uh, before I go too much further, I'd also look to, uh, like to point out in the settings that uh, there is a security tab over here. And in this security tab is uh, two-factor authentication. I highly recommend that you enable two-factor authentication on your Coinbase account. And uh, I have a video that shows you how to do that pretty quickly. Okay. So uh, the... Also, I'd like to show you here, I'm going to mirror my phone. Okay, I would like to show you the uh, Coinbase app over here. If you don't have it, of course, you can just go over here to uh, Coinbase. It's a hot app right now okay you can just download it onto your phone from the app store and um, just go in here and open it up now uh, you could start coinbase from the app on your phone and set up a completely set up an account or uh, you can open your coinbase account on the uh, web and set up your account that way on their website and then uh, once you have opened an account on either, uh, you know, it's obviously you could sign into your Coinbase account from either platform. OK, so uh, there are times where I like to be on the website. I believe the security settings are a little easier to deal with uh, on the, the website. But uh, buying and selling Bitcoin on the uh, app is uh, a lot easier, I think. So uh, I'm just going to buy some cryptocurrency here. We'll go, uh, maybe you've never done this before. So I'm just going to go over here to uh, accounts. I'm going to go to uh, BTC. And uh, when we get here, there's a little uh, button here. We just buy. And it's going to be tied to your credit card. Okay, so I'm just going to buy 50 here. And uh, click done and uh, you can see there's a little fee down there they kind of explain why that's uh, why that is and I'm just gonna tap buy okay and then we confirm that and should happen fairly quickly there we go so uh, I've got Bitcoin in my account and I get a little alert from my Gmail telling me that I just bought uh, $50 worth of Bitcoin now uh, I want to move this Bitcoin into a Bitcoin wallet. So I'm going to show you that. I'll leave this mirroring up 
uh, the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. I have a video on uh, how you install the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Okay, you'll uh, want to have a password on your uh, Bitcoin wallet, of course. And uh, once you get this wallet open, you can see that it's basically, it's pretty tut uh, utilitarian. Uh, you've got a history which shows you all of the transactions, which in this particular wallet, there are none right now. And uh, then there's a balance down here, and it's measured in uh, micro bitcoins. And uh, we've got these tabs. We've got a send tab. I can send money out. I can uh, receive Bitcoin. Uh, it generates this Bitcoin address here. And this is the way that Bitcoin gets moved back and forth. You can also keep a, a list of addresses in here. Uh, there are several uh, receiving addresses that you might want to give out to your friends so that you're not always receiving on the exact same receiving address. Okay, so let's move that Bitcoin into this wallet. And that's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, when I, uh, let's say we're starting from the history tab and I've decided that I want to receive some Bitcoin. So I just uh, click here and uh, then I'm going to open up the Coinbase account. Go back over here. So I don't really want to buy and sell. What I want to do is send. And if you'll notice up here in the corner, there's a little paper airplane. And that is how you send Bitcoin. So I'm going to tap that. Okay, it wants to know how much I want to send. I'm just going to hit use max. It says there's BTC in here. Let's try that again. There we go. Just had to play around with it a little bit. Uh, okay, so now I've tapped use max, and uh, that's the uh, amount of Bitcoin that I'm going to be sending. Uh, it's measured in Bitcoin. It's 0 .0051, and uh, the dollar amount is uh, 47.77. Now I'm going to tap send. Now I want this address over here in my Bitcoin wallet. Now I could hit uh, this. Uh, copy here which copies this Bitcoin address into my uh, clipboard and then I could paste it over here actually I can't paste it because I'm using my phone right so uh, if I were using the web-based version of coinbase I could do that but uh, an easier way and a more robust and secure way is to scan this uh, QR code here and I can do that with the phone app uh, you'll notice over here in the send field, there's this little uh, QR code icon. I'm going to tap that. And then I get this scan code. So I just lift up here and it scans that code in there. And you'll notice too uh, that these addresses matches. These addresses match. 1EMX, blah, 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 blah. And uh, we know that we've copied the address in there properly with no mistakes. And I'm just going to make a little note here. Uh, Electrum. Transfer. Uh, you might, uh, anything that's meaningful to you. And uh, now I'm just going to tap send. OK, and you'll notice that my uh, Bitcoin uh, account just emptied out there. And Coinbase just sent me an alert to tell me that I just sent out some Bitcoin. And uh, you'll notice down here at the bottom that I got an alert in the wallet telling me that I received some Bitcoin. And uh, you'll see over here the amount. And uh, it says unconfirmed. Okay. Now, uh, the reason that it does that is uh, the way that Bitcoin works is... It uh, takes several iterations to confirm this transaction. And the reason that it does that is for security purposes. Okay, uh, I won't go into a whole lot about Bitcoin, uh, but 
uh, let's just say that it's built into the network to ensure total security. Uh, a Bitcoin transaction is irreversible, and so uh, that's one of the reasons why it is irreversible, because of this confirmation process. And that's all done by the Bitcoin community. All of these miners, these guys that are running uh, these uh, complicated hash algorithms on their computers worldwide are contributing to the Bitcoin network to not only create Bitcoins, but to uh, facilitate Bitcoin transactions. And because they're lending their power to this uh, blockchain network, they get a little bit of reward. And that's what the fee is, the Bitcoin fee, and uh, that's also this confirmation process. I should also add that uh, Coinbase adds its own fee. Uh, just uh, they're providing a service and that's why they've uh, added this fee. So in the case of the Bitcoin wallet, you're not going to get that fee, uh, that added on fee. You're only going to get the network fee. And that's maybe another reason why you would want to uh, store Bitcoin in your own wallet and not use Coinbase for your day-to-day -day back and forth uh, because of their uh, added fees. So there you have it guys. Now we've got some Bitcoin in our wallet here and uh, we can uh, send Bitcoin to someone else and uh, we can receive Bitcoin from my friends uh, or your friends. Now you can uh, post this. Uh, this re the receiving address is perfectly fine to for people to see publicly. Uh, there uh, is a private key also in Electrum that's stored on your computer and it's encrypted and only you have access to it and that's why you uh, protect this uh, application with uh, a password. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I hope you uh, get into Bitcoin and uh, enjoy it as much as I have. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, eventually this uh, transaction will be confirmed completely and then uh, I'll be able to send out the Bitcoin. So uh, thanks for joining me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it and then you can enable notifications so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Thanks again.